in today's video, I'm going to illustrate how to do a trick called the airplane. So the end result of this trick is going to be where you hold both of your arms out and your dog jumps over both of your arms and goes around you in a circle. So I wanted to break this down and show how to build on the jump trick uh, to work towards the airplane. So this is a great trick also that you can do at home. You can use a broomstick, anything really um, PVC pipe anything really around the house to get them to jump over. And you can also get little boxes and things like that and, and prop it up for an actual jump. So in the beginning when I'm teaching jump, I like to just keep the item down on the ground and literally just have them walk over. So I'm gonna lure them over in the beginning. So I'll have a treat. I'll lure them over, I'll name it. So the word that I like to use is over, but you could do jump or really any word that you want. And then I'm going to mark and reward when they've made it all the way over the actual item. Midnight, working. Over. Yes. Over. Yes. Good. Midnight. Over. Yes. Over. Yes. So you could also walk, get up and walk with your dog. Um, to see what works best for your dog. Um, but in the beginning, typically mooring them over is going to help. And then eventually you'll get rid of the treat from your hand and you'll use the cue and just use like a hand signal. So midnight over. Yes. Over. Yes. So as you can see, he's really just stepping over it at this point. So once you feel like your dog kind of has a, the concept that they're walking over something, then you can start to gradually lift it. And how far you do that is gonna depend on how comfortable your dog is, how tall your dog is, um, but you wanna make it gradual, especially if they're a little bit nervous about this type of thing. Midnight, over, yes, over, yes. Good job. So eventually you're just gradually lifting it higher and higher. Midnight, over, yes, over, yes. Boy, over, yes, all right. So the next part of this is you are going to add your arm. So most of the time a dog is not gonna understand what we're asking when we hold our arm out and ask them to jump over. So the best way to do this is to use this, the same item and just hold it in your arm. And in the beginning, you know, I may just have part of my arm over here. Midnight. That's gonna feel most natural. Over, yay, over. That's gonna feel most natural to them. They're gonna transfer that previous knowledge from jumping over this item. And this look small part of your arm probably isn't gonna throw them off. So gradually you're gonna add more of your arm. Midnight, over, yes. So now they're starting to get comfortable with your arm being there. So eventually, we're gonna get rid of the item and just use the arm. Now, usually what happens, midnight, over, oh, good. So he did that pretty well. But usually what happens in him also in the very beginning is they're gonna go around your arm or they might jump kind of, not actually over your arm, but way over here. So we want them jumping right here, which is pretty challenging for most dogs. So the best hack for that is to use a barrier. So for example here, also I wanted to mention, I use these mats for when I'm doing tricks like this because I don't want my dogs to slip and fall. We have um, hardwood floors throughout which are really slippery. So um, I make sure that I'm using mats like this. So, um, you know, you could use walls and things like that, but since I wanted to use this mat, I found it easier to bring certain barriers to me. So I have this chair here. So what I did in the beginning um, to prevent him from going way around or just avoiding my arm altogether, midnight, hey, midnight, over. And so see how I'm still <laughs> kind of using that signal um, with my hand to help him to jump over that. So eventually too, what I did was I broke down a big box 
and then I used this couch and I used this chair. And so I had the big part of the box here because otherwise he was jumping and going around the couch. So you really have to set up barriers for most dogs so that they stay close to you. Uh, a lot of dogs are gonna be nervous about jumping really close to you. Um, so just having those barriers really helps that. Also be aware that some dogs are not nervous about it and could plow right into you. So if you have a larger dog, you know, be really careful with this too because they can definitely run into you. So try to be as safe as you can. And then eventually, once you've got your barriers, um, you know, work on both sides. Usually, of course, we're starting with one side and then we're gonna go to the other side. You know, really just, you can continue to lure them over. Um, and eventually, you can take out the verbal word and then just have them jumping over. So midnight. out that verbal. Good night. Yes. Yeah, good boy. Good job, buddy. Nice. Good night. Airplane. Yes. Yes. Good job. Good boy. Oh, I didn't give you a treat for that one, did I? Yes, there you go. Good boy. So yeah, you just gradually get rid of all the cues and different things like that. I like to do the little snaps too. And I eventually just, um, you know, phase all that out and they really get used to once you put in your arms out that tell them, tell them airplane. Um, they're usually pretty good once you've done lots of repetitions of just doing that. And you're right, buddy. And you're right, buddy. Good job. Yeah. So hopefully you will give that a try with your dog. And if you get stuck, have any questions, feel free to contact me. I also do trick, tra I'm a certified trick dog instructor through Do More With Your Dog. So anybody who's interested in getting trick titles, I can review those and approve those for titles and also provide instruction for tricks. Um, but it's other, you know, other than that, it's just fun to do stuff with your dog. If it's cold outside, get them moving, get some physical activity. I like the jumps and things like that. Um, just get their bodies working, get their minds working, especially when they get older, like this guy. Yeah, right, buddy. Yeah, right. Can you do order? Yeah. Here you go. Oh, are you cute? Yes. Yes. You did a very good job, buddy. High five. High five. Yes, you did a good job. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And as I said, if you have any questions, let me know and hopefully you will give this trick a try. All right, let's go.